The Supreme Court ruled unanimously that the Constitution does not give a sitting president automatic immunity from lawsuits stemming from behavior unrelated to his official duties, including behavior that occurred before he became president. The Supreme Court of the United States has made it possible for Paula Jones, a courageous American, to finally get her day in, in a court of justice where truth can be tried. Rather than answer the fatal deficiencies in their case, they took this gigantic vacuum cleaner, you know, financed by the Clinton haters, hundreds of thousands of dollars by the Rutherford Institute, picked up every little bit of, of dirt and dumped it out in the public record. And then reporters like you say, well, what about all these women? What other women? a sterling, sterling business career, a very private life. And she sits down one night to dinner, and there's the president's lawyer on television calling her a liar. She was outraged. She said, well, what can I do? And I said, the only thing I can come up with is to take your phone conversation. She was very, very reluctant to do that. She did not want to do it. Let's see. Andy then had sex with that guy. I can't remember his name. Oh, that's really encouraging. Oh, and then the help in that voice. So, hey, we am getting up there. Well, I guess you can count the big creep in a sort of half-assed way. Not at all. I never even came close to sleeping with him. Why, because you were standing up? We didn't have sex, Linda. Not, we didn't have sex. Well, what do you call it? We fooled around. Oh. Sex. <laughs> 